you're looking to build muscle, you're probably looking to add in either BCAAs or creatine to the mix. But what's the difference between these two? And which one is best for your goals? Let's get into it. I'm Maya Valenti with Naked Nutrition, a private chef and a nutrition coach, and I'm here to answer all of your questions. Let's be honest, building muscle, it isn't so easy. And with so many different recommendations floating around from the informed to the uninformed alike, it's hard to know what information is good information. One thing's for sure, when it comes to adding on muscle, you'll likely be recommended brands chain amino acids or creatine. Some even choose to include both. And it's no wonder, as both creatine and BCAAs are popular and effective supplements for anyone looking to improve their physical fitness. But what's the difference between these two? The biggest difference between BCAAs and creatine is how they affect performance. BCAAs help to build muscle mass, while creatine helps to increase power and strength, specifically during high intensity training. BCAAs are essential amino acids in the sense that your body can't produce them and you have to get them from your diet. While creatine, well, it's naturally found in your muscles. BCAAs are a specific subset of amino acids that contain a branch in their chemical structure, hence their name. These include leucine, isoleucine, and valine. Amino acids are the building blocks for protein. However, the branch chain structure of these three amino acids is believed to help boost muscle protein synthesis, aka the act of creating muscle. And what about creatine? It's considered an effective supplement for improving strength and performance because studies have found that it boosts ATP. ATP is what provides energy to your cells for functions such as muscle contractions. To boost energy intensity and therefore performance, you need an increased amount of ATP. So is BCAAs or creatine better for muscle synthesis? While both BCAAs and creatine provide benefits for your muscle, which you choose, well, it depends on your specific goals and your dietary preferences. For example, someone who follows a strict vegetarian or a vegan diet will likely benefit from taking BCAAs as they're likely not getting enough from diet alone. Likewise, if your exercises focus on endurance rather than intensity, BCAAs may fit your needs better. If your gym sessions, however, focus on increasing power and intensity, creatine may be the better choice. Now let's talk about muscle protein synthesis. How does it work? MPS is your your body's process of using protein to build and repair muscles following intense exercise. When we work our muscles, we create tiny tears in the muscle fibers. These tears require protein to rebuild and repair these fibers so that they can become a little bit bigger and a little bit stronger the next time that you replicate that activity. The breakdown of muscle fibers causes inflammation and that often results in muscle soreness. Ensuring that you're consuming adequate protein in your diet or supplementing with a high quality protein shake can help boost recovery and improve muscle soreness following intense activity. Researchers have found a link between BCAAs and MPS. Some studies have even found that consumption of BCAAs alone might help to boost exercise MPS in the muscle fibers. It should however be noted that studies have also found that we must include the other essential amino acids, not just BCAAs, to successfully build muscle mass. Without these, results are not as successful. And how does creatine aid in muscle growth? Although creatine does not stimulate MPS like BCAAs, it can still help to build muscle mass. Creatine helps to stimulate energy in your muscles, which allows you to lift heavier at a higher intensity. This energy allows you to get a better workout that will create better results in muscle growth. Whether you're choosing to take a BCAA or a creatine supplement, you might be wondering when you should take it. Unfortunately, the perfect timing for either of those supplements have yet to be determined. And they may not even matter as much as you think it does. Whether you're an athlete or an average gym goer looking to improve your physical fitness, the timing of BCAAs remains a preference. Because of limited studies, no set guidelines have been determined when it comes to the timing of these supplements. But do you need BCAAs if you're taking creatine? You don't need to take BCAAs if you're already taking a creatine supplement and vice versa. However, it could help to boost your exercise performance and recovery even further. With 
that said, it's not necessary to take both these supplements if you don't want to, or if you feel like it does not meet your specific goals. If you have a BCA and creatine supplement that you like, it's okay to mix them in most cases, but be mindful if your supplements contain additional ingredients. Both supplements have research-backed benefits when it comes to improving your body's composition. Consider your diet and your specific exercise routine, and from there, you should be able to pick the most likely supplement for your specific set of goals. Luckily, both supplements are well researched and as long as you're reaching for high quality supplements you'll be just fine. To learn more about our amino acids, our creatine, and all of our other high quality supplements check us out at NikkiNutrition.com and be sure to subscribe for more in-depth dives on all things nutrition, wellness, and supplementation because here at Naked Nutrition we're nutrition with nothing to hide.